Hello everyone, welcome to my Sister Wise official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Tragic news surfaced early Tuesday morning, March 5, 2024, of the probable suicide of Garrison Brown, son of Sister Wives star Cody Brown, and his ex-second wife Janelle Brown. He was found dead at his Arizona home by his brother Gabriel Brown. The family responds. The Brown family pulled together during this tragic time, delivering comments and expressing their pain. While they dealt with the tremendous loss, Janelle and Cody Brown released a joint statement on Janelle's Instagram, requesting privacy. A gaping hole appeared in their lives as a result of the tangible agony. Mary Brown, Cody's first wife, published images and openly expressed her sadness over Garrison's passing. No parent should ever have to go through the anguish of losing a child, and the original three spouses, OG3, had been at their side since the day he was born. Robin Brown's remaining quiet. But there's one obvious absence. Robin Brown, Cody's sole remaining wife. Despite being part of the multiple family, Robin has kept radio silence. March 11, 2019, was the date of her last post. Fans are outraged, questioning why she hasn't addressed Garrison's death. Reaction from supporters. The blame game ensued on Robin's Instagram. Angry followers left comments like, Are you happy now that Garrison is gone? You too wrecked up his life. Cody doesn't even deserve to attend the funeral. You should have let that man see his kids. Way to go, Robin. Garrison passed away. Hope dividing up the family was worth it. Robin's quiet has raised questions, leaving admirers asking why she remained unfazed. As the tragedy develops, the Brown family grapples with grief, and Robin's absence speaks volumes. Cody's allegiance. Interestingly, while Robin stayed mute, Cody Brown was seen by Janelle's side throughout the event. He accompanied her as she sought to reach out to Robin, asking her to attend the burial. But Robin remained mysterious, leaving Janelle distraught. As the sister wives group mourns Garrison's loss, questions persist. Why does Robin remain silent? What part did she have in Garrison's life? And how will this tragedy affect the already complex dynamics of the Brown family? While members of the Brown family are mourning the loss of Garrison Brown in their own manner, Mary Brown is facing hate for her decisions. However, some Sister Wives fans observe what is happening and come to Mary's defense in the situation. Fans defend Mary Brown against hate. Although no one actually has the authority to teach someone how to move through grief, it is frequently tempting to condemn others who grieve differently than you do. On Reddit, one Sister Wives fan adds, Mary's latest post doesn't deserve the hate it's getting, then proceeds to discuss the problem at hand. Mary posted a video that is swarmed with comments of people so fucking horrible to her. They add, As someone who's been deep in grief before, you are allowed to laugh. If anything, a therapist would encourage it. Laughing with my buddies amid sobbing sessions over losing a loved one, it's healing. Then they point out that Mary Brown isn't new to grieving her loved ones. Further, they point out that while she helped raise Garrison Brown, he isn't her biological kid. Following, others joined the conversation. Other fans give their thoughts on Mary Brown's treatment. After the initial Reddit post, several Sister Wives fans added to the topic about Mary Brown facing hate for moving forward with her life. Notably, the original poster points out that other family members like Christine Brown aren't getting as much opposition for returning to their normal activities. I started reading the comments and laughed at one, someone taking it upon themselves to correct her by reminding her of Garrison's mother's name, then promptly misspelling the name. People are ridiculous. The top one I saw was someone telling her she should be grieving for the rest of the month, and I thought... Thank God we aren't trapped in the Victorian era where we had mourning where we were shut away for a set time. Then as the months went by we were allowed to re-enter society a tiny step at a time. I saw this too and rolled my eyes. More fans jumped to her defense. Additionally, 
Others rose to Mary Brown's defense as well. One admirer recounted their personal experience with different sorts of sorrow. Everyone grieves differently. I was 11 my my dad passed and didn't weep for two weeks. I still haven't stopped grieving a few times a day over my son 36, years old who lost away a year ago. I'm imploring everyone just stop. No one knows what Mary feels, so shut up. Let Garrison rest in paradise and his family grieve in peace. To Mary and all the Browns grieve, live, laugh, love, and do the best you can one day at a time. This is so important. Grief is multifaceted and doesn't even look the same for one person with every loss. Grief is also dynamic. One minute you can be laughing recalling something about them. The next breath you can be sobbing because you notice an empty chair. There's no right or wrong way to grieve. Although no one knows for sure how Mary Brown is doing behind closed doors, she is struggling to survive just like the rest of the Browns. Perhaps her coping skills are higher given her earlier experience with death and other worldly losses. Grief tends to come and go. Likewise, it displays itself variously during the process. And normally, it never goes away. The person usually builds new strategies to continue on their own life journey. What do you think about Mary Brown returning to her life and attempting to move forward after Garrison? Do you think Mary was too fast to exhibit delight on social media? Have you grieved the death of someone essential in your life? Are you eager to see more episodes of Sister Wives? Drop your comments below. Without appearing to struggle, Liam walked their three dogs with one leash in one hand and two leashes in another. The dogs have appeared on both Leon and Audrey's social media profiles in the past. However, the husky dog appears to be the newest member of the family, although its name remains unknown to the public. The black dog, a lab and German shepherd mix, is named Coda, while their tiniest dog, Mosby, has been described as a mongrel with a miniature poodle, terrier, chihuahua, and Alaskan Malamute mix. Looks you are alive living. Leon has resided in Denver since moving away from their family in 2022. Photos obtained by the U.S. Sun show the ex-reality star's new digs that have yet to be shown to the public. The cheap apartment building, which was established in 1971, includes three stories and 186 units. One-bedroom rentals go for roughly $1,349 per month, while a two-bedroom units cost for about $1,700 per month. Despite being an older building, there are fully new flooring, ceilings, cabinets, appliances, kitchens and bathrooms that give off a upscale feel, especially with a bespoke tile work and high-end lighting, says the real estate ad. Amenities include an outdoor common area, pet park, a fitness facility, swimming pool, and shared laundry room. The courtyard itself was totally restored and contains a fountain, exquisite pavers, professionally manicured planter beds, a built-in grill, and enormous shade pergola and seats, per the real estate description. Located minutes away from downtown Denver, Leon resides near to the city's finest shopping and dining destination. Life in DENVER. Leon hitched the marriage to Audrey on October 29, 2022, five years after meeting at Westminster College. The pair looked to have gotten married at a residence in Colorado Springs, but the address provided on the certificate obtained by the U.S. Sun. It is unclear who, if anyone, from Leon's famous family attended their secret wedding, although the U.S. Sun verified at the time that parents Mary and Cody were not present. It was previously announced by Gwendolyn Brown, who is the daughter of Cody and Christine, that Leon was separated from the family to feel safe and has not featured on the TLC show in years. According to their profile, Leon is now focused on writing. In November, Leon made a public appearance in Denver where they performed in front of a live audience. They posted on Instagram at the time, I accomplished a big and terrifying thing tonight, and I'm so proud of myself for being brave, and my inner kid is so grateful. Open Mick Night is the best night. Thanks for sharing your hearts and words with us. 
Spouse Audrey is also in the creative profession, working as a graphic designer and digital artist for their business, Audrey Chris Creative. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.